Hello, hello, and welcome back to a new video by the Desk Course platform. My name is Johan, and I will be hosting this video. All right, so this video has been requested by um, by one of my um, Instagram followers, and the 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 user in question they actually asked if I could make a video about custom U U uh, UI uh, buttons, and that's what we, and that's what we're gonna do today. So without showing you guys what her app is about, so. Okay, so this is the um, this is one of the designs he sent, and we're actually gonna build uh, this button, and we're actually gonna learn how we can do that using code. So that's gonna be really interesting. So yeah, okay. So let's go over here, and the first thing we'll do we're gonna open up Xcode. So we're gonna do a create new Xcode project. I'm gonna do an iOS app, and I'm gonna call this custom button. Uh, we're gonna have storyboard selected Swift. We don't need use core data today. We're gonna save this, and I'm gonna save this in my developer folder. Then we go to iOS. That's over here. Okay. Okay. So let's make this a little bit bigger. Okay. So what do people actually know that uh, how you uh, work in storyboard and how you work with uh, user buttons? Um, you can actually give like your button different kinds of uh, colors and you can actually give them like different kinds of properties if you want to. But not everybody understands how this works, so we're going to do that today. Okay, so we have a view controller that's Swift. And what we're going to do, we go to our plus sign here and we're going to drag on a button like this. Let's make this a little bit bigger. If Xcode wants to. Uh, Wants to respond. Oh, yeah, Xcode is really slow since the last uh, update, so I don't know what's going on. But okay, so in her uh, in her example, she has like uh, the kitchen surfaces, right? So okay, so let's make let's give this a title. So kitchen surfaces. Oh. Okay. So what we can do. Um, let's give this, um, let's give this, shall we constrain this? Um, let's make this a little bit higher first. I expect it to be, mm, I think this is 70. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so we're going to need a color, right? So let's go to our background color. That's over here. We're going to click that. We go all the way down to custom, and this is like a kind of white, white color, huh? A little bit, a little bit white blue. Let's open up our uh, our digital color meter and let's see. So this is two, two, three, two, two, one, two, forty. Okay. So what you can actually what's it? What did they? What did they say? Two, 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 four, two, two, three. Okay. So this is gonna be. Two two four, two two three, and this is gonna be two forty. Okay. Didn't catch. You see that sometimes Xcode doesn't um, doesn't catch it. So we go back to custom. Okay. Now 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 it catches. Mm, yeah, this looks okay. Okay. So when we have the button here, what we can actually do. We can actually open up our second editor, and in there we're going to open up the view controller, and we can actually. Oh my God! We go to the main. So we're going to drag the button here. We're going to drag it on top of here. I'm going to call, call this custom button. Okay. So, in the view load, we can actually do something about the custom button, right? So let's say we want to give it uh, the rounded corner. So what we can do, we can actually do um, custom button dot layer dot corner ra corner radius. It's equal to let's say fifteen pixels. No, okay, we now we can just use fifty. We don't, don't need to be x. I've been building a new uh, Discord Studio website for the last few days, so I'm still a little bit like in CSS and uh, SAS mode. Sorry for that. And Okay, so those are the rounded corners. Let's run this really quick. So let's see um, if I'm not mistaken. Let's run this on iPhone Mini, iPhone 13 Mini. 
All right, so as you can see, the simulator is running and there is no button. Where's the button? Let's open this one up really quick. Hmm. Okay, so maybe we have to constrain it first. That's probably it. So, okay, so let's, let, let's click the button here really quick and let's just constrain it. So we're gonna give it, uh, let's do 116, 116, and we're gonna do 114 from the top. Let's take this and let's make sure that it has the 72 height that we put in before. Let's also give this a height constraint just so that we uh, shut up the error. So we're gonna give it a height constraint of 72. Let's run the simulator one more time. Okay, so this is the button, right? And as you can see now, we have the rounded corners and yeah, it says kitchen surfaces. The biggest problem is it's really small and that is because we actually are constraining the button too far. So what we can do, we can open up the constraints and this is this one. And instead of 100, uh, instead of 116, we can actually change this to 20. And we're gonna select the other one, this one. We're gonna make this also 20. Okay, let's run this again. Let's see what happens. Okay, this is a lot better, right? Because now we actually see like um, the button is like almost a full width of the screen. And here, and I choose 20 because here we actually have like the, the, safe, uh, the safeguards, so the safe lines. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is actually change the, um, change the colors, right? Because as you can see here, we actually have like this kitchen surfaces. That's like a different color. So let's do that as well. So let's select the button over here. Custom button is okay. Um, let's see, what can we do? The background we don't need, image we don't need, alignment is okay. Okay, so we don't have a font. Let's do system font first. Let's see what happens, we're gonna do bold. Okay, but why if I put custom in there, it doesn't... Ah, okay, now it works. Okay, weird. Okay, so now we have Helvetica Noi. And we're not going to take Helvetica Noi. We're going to do something that looks a little bit like what the, um, what the requester put in there. Let's see. Hiragio Sans. No, it doesn't look like Hiragio Sans. Let's see. Tombori, maybe. No. Maybe something else. Maybe something playful. Verdana. Hmm. You know what? We're gonna do it our own way. We're gonna do marker felt. Looks really cool, really extreme, and it's against the flow, right? So done. Okay, so let's make this bigger. So let's make this the points. Let's make that uh, twenty four. Mm, I think she uses twenty five. So let's do twenty five. Okay. So we also have to uh, we also have to check if we can uh, change the color. I think the foreground is the color, right? Yes. Okay. So she she uses here like a little bit of darker purple-ish. So let's go to custom. Let's see if we can make this a little bit purple-ish. Gonna go here. No, it's more to the blue side as well. Mm, let's do this one. Okay, let's run this really quick and let's see what happens. Okay, so let's grab the, um, the design really quick. Mm, it's not the same, but it's almost. Okay, so as you can see now, we need actually this one as well, right? We need like this um, this view over here. So what we can do, we can actually go to our, um, we're gonna close up uh, this one really quick. And we're gonna grab a UI view. So let's grab a UI view. I'm gonna drag it onto here. And let's give the UI view a really quick uh, color like system orange, just, just so that we can actually recognize it. Okay, um, let's give the, um, let's open up the other editor as well one more time. And we're actually gonna open up the view controller. And from here we actually need to drag the view there as well. So let's drag the view over here. And we're gonna call this um, XP view because the app is actually uh, assigning XP to every task that you uh, that you can do. Okay, so now we have the XP view, and let's see what 
first let's let's put in a label in here, right? So we're gonna add a label. That's this one. Let's put it in there. We're gonna give this 10 XP. And we're actually gonna make this a little bit smaller. Let's make this also a, um, a bold font. So regular, we're gonna do bold. And we're gonna give this a foreground color. We're gonna center it. And the color is gonna be white. Okay. So let's make this a little bit bigger like this. And we have to drag the, this one to the middle. Hmm. Where's the label? Here it is. I'm gonna drag the label back. Oh my god. Go back there. Okay. I'm gonna turn to the middle. Okay, so the whole idea is that we actually paste this one. Uh, on the um, on the thingy, right? So let's let's give this a size. The width at the moment, I think we're gonna do a width thirty of thirty. Hmm. Let's do thirty five. Thirty five by thirty five. Okay. Now let me grab this one. And let's see. Can we drag it? Okay, so you know what? Let's let's close this one off the. Um, let's take this one out of the area there. So now we can actually move it freely, right? So now we don't have to worry about it. Okay, so let's make the let's make it a little bit smaller. The um, so the font size. I think the font size is gonna be ten, like this. Okay. So, all right. So let's select the um, let's select the custom button and the XP view. Let's put these in the stack view together. So let's see what happens. So we're gonna put them inside the stack view. As you can see now, they actually are stacking together, right? So we're actually gonna give this an horizontal like this, but the custom button should be on top of there. So it should be like this. Okay. So let's select the stack view. Let's drag it back to the middle and let's see. So we actually want the, the small thingy over here we actually want that here on the corner top, right? So let's see if we can let's see if we can play around with some constraints inside. So we're gonna do this. Mm, let's do a constraint of minus ten. Let's see what happens. And let's let's add another constraint, and the top is gonna be zero, like this. Let's run this really quick. Let's see what happens. Oh, first we need to align the stack view again. I forgot about that. So let's do 20, 20, and 93. Why not? Hmm, okay. So it doesn't look great yet. So let's select the custom button. And we actually wanted to force it the height, right? So it's a forced height of. 72. Let's run this again. Okay. And the custom button. Okay. And the XP view also has like already a height constraint, right? Hmm. Okay. So let's make this an aspect fill. Let's see what happens. Hmm. Let's select the stack view again. And instead of fill, we're gonna do uh, fill proportionally. Nope. Fill equally. No way. Fill. Let's do alignment on the top. Let's see what happens. Okay. So now this is okay. So let's run this one more time. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh, almost, almost. You see that? Almost there. So now we have the alignment fixed. Let's see what this complaining. Yeah, it's actually I think it's complaining about some of the constraints, right? Okay, so let's 
let's delete this one, delete constraint. Okay. Mm. So we have the XP view here. Let's let's look at the constraints really quick. So we have top space width. Let's run this one more time just to just to make sure. Okay, so we actually deleted the, the constraint that was overlapping. So actually we first have to take this one, the label, and text is already centered. And let's let's give this a constraint of one, one and one, like this. Here we go to XP view. So we're gonna go back to XP view, we're actually gonna give this a minus maybe 20 pixels to the left. Let's run this one more time. Mm, almost. So instead of 20, we're gonna make it 30. So let's select the XP view one more time and to our measurements and let's see the minus 20, that's this one. So we're gonna make this minus 30, okay. And we also need like a top constraint, right? Because we have to align it back top. So we're gonna do minus 30 as well. Let's run this. Ah, as you can see 30, that is too much. So we're gonna make that 15 maybe. So let's make this 15. Mm, stack view, custom button, the view. Um, but this one, leading. With leading space, trailing, uh, one second. Speed view, horizontal, okay, vertically, okay, so that is this one. Gonna make this one and let's make this um, 20. If you pause it, <coughs> three, three, eight. Hmm, okay, so it's still it's still too high, huh? Okay, so instead of 20, let's make this 10. Let's see what happens. Let's see if that works. Run. Yeah, this looks a lot better. This looks almost the same, but as you can see, it's not perfectly rounded yet. So we're gonna do XP viewer, XP view dot layer dot corner radius. So we're gonna do 20. Let's run this one more time. Mm, still not perfect, huh? let's make this 25 really quick, let's see if that fixes it. Oh, oh, no. Let's make this uh, 18 maybe. Yeah, this looks better. Um, well, very cool actually. So let's see. Well, it almost looks the same, it's not exactly the same, but it's actually a really nice uh, I hope the user in question asked me to make an example for her that uh, that she's happy with uh, with what we produced here today. It was relatively easily, relatively easy, and the only problem we actually need to uh, to fix are the conflicting constraints. But maybe that's for something from a future video, because I'm also going to use this project to uh, for, to for a video about uh, implementing implementing a camera uh, view inside your application, and um, we're going to learn how to segue. But that's for another video because this video is already way too long. But yeah, I hope you guys uh, learned something. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, don't worry about the conflicting constraints. We're going to fix something like that in a future video. And yeah, thank you for watching and I see you next time.